Hi, I'm Seamless, and today I'm here to talk to you about the Razer Chroma plugin, which I'm pointing to instead of mousing over because I have these as detached windows and as their own sources inside XSplit, in case anyone cared about that. But I do, it means I can resize them in the thing, and it's actually kind of neat. Um, anyway, uh, I have it in the spectrum mode, and I also am automating the color mode, because you can do that. You can automate pretty much everything here. Um, and the spectrum mode is special because what it does is it takes level um, in a position in the spectrum and it applies that to a position on the keyboard relative to that position in the spectrum. Um, right now I'm playing a pretty high octave. You can see in the EQ how high it is, um, just so that you can see it happening on the keyboard. I'm also playing a fairly low amplitude because if you uh, get up higher and higher and higher and higher and higher, you can see that it's kind of all encompassing. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm using my my, my rolling seaboard up here, and I have linked the, the colors to the vertical sliding axis. So, like you know, regular pitch can slide around, and that slides around slides around the keyboard. But if I slide up, it just scrolls through all the colors, and that's pretty neat because I can just kind of put my hand down, and it will be different stuff. Um, a handy thing about these priorities is that you can automate it. It means that you can sort of set like triggered paths to make a thing a, a color in a position wherever and whenever you want. So you have about the kind of control that you'd have over this um, to do any kind of like performance mode, light showing kind of stuff. Uh, it's recommended that if you do this, to use one of these to represent one like item. In this case, I'm using one, uh, just this. This is the Black Widow uh, V2, uh, Razer's keyboard, uh, super awesome mechanical keyboard. And so I'm using this guy to attach to that. Um, I could use the mouse pad or the mouse, and if I were to do that, I would do that in their own things. Um, in this case, I'm using a sine wave coming out of Citrus going into the sky to indicate where in the spectrum you want it to be. In my experiments, the first couple of things I tried were things like putting a noise filter like, in there and then using a really thin bandpass to be like what would be in a spectrum, but I, I'm just trying to make a thin point. And what's a sine wave besides being a thin point? Uh, so that's how that's happening, like that. You can play chords and yeah, slide the whole thing around. It's really very expressive and like it can augment performances pretty epically if you have this kind of stuff just kind of around um there's also the laptop option so if you have if you're using any of their gear or any laptop that has chroma in it um you can be doing it to that laptop that's that can be kind of cool if you're looking for extra jazz and upper performance if you're on a show or something if you have any questions about this please let me know don't forget to like comment subscribe and all the good stuff and as usual have a nice day